Hi, my name is Jonathan Glass from the Healing Essence Center in West Concord, and I am here today to share some health tips. This is a very interesting time of year. We're in the fall, coming into winter, and a lot of holiday season stuff is coming up really soon. Thanksgiving is soon, then we have Christmas, New Year. There's a lot going on, and this is a time of year where people go through a tremendous amount of physical, mental, emotional, and I would call it even spiritual stress. So I'd like to talk today about a couple things that we can do to manage the stress of the holiday seasons in this time of year from an Ayurvedic and Chinese medicine perspective. In Chinese medicine and Ayurveda, the fall is a time of letting go. The energy of nature is descending. We're actually descending into winter. A lot of patients recently are kind of saying, my energy is a little bit lower, um, I, I feel like I'm slowing down a little bit, and that's actually really, really natural for this time of year. The problem is, for many of us, life is getting busier. The holiday season, family members are coming, we're traveling, we're starting to get worked up about seeing old family members and old friends, and even Christmas is coming, or Hanukkah is coming, and, and uh, it it's, gets very anxiety-causing for a lot of people. So the fall is really meant to be a time where we're starting to wind down a little bit. As we enter winter, the winter in Chinese medicine is really meant to be a very internal time. And I believe that is one reason why people get so stressed out um, and oftentimes ill is because it's meant to be a time of rest and meant to be a time when people go internal and have quality time with loved ones and so much of our culture is, uh, is asking us to be external, to go shopping at the mall, to spend a ton of money, and it's, it's all about outside of us. And it's less about creating quality time in our lives, in our own, in our own hearts, in our own relationships with our family and our friends and our loved ones. So it's, it's really important this time of year, I believe, to increase things like meditation, things like slowing down, things like reading nourishing books, uh, doing things that actually nourish the mind and the spirit. When we don't do that, we create a big dichotomy between the season we're in and what's actually happening. So um, that's what I really recommend. So meditation, slowing down, reconnecting to a deeper part of yourself, that's what the season is really about. We call it Thanksgiving. Yes, it's about gratitude and how can you actually get in touch with gratitude if you don't actually slow down and connect to your inner self, your deeper self, and actually do that. It certainly isn't just about a turkey. In fact, I'd recommend a lot of you guys go try a vegan Thanksgiving or a vegetarian Thanksgiving. It's not about what we put in our bodies this time of year. It's really about uh, taking time to be thankful for, for the real things in life. Um, another thing that it is real important is that a lot of us overeat this time of year. So I would say one of the best things you can do is try to eat mindfully. And by doing that, one of, the, one of the easiest things you can do is to chew a lot. So when you're, it's called conscious eating. When you chew 16 to 32 times a bite, you will find you eat much slower, your sympathetic nervous system calms down, your parasympathetic, which is the slow mode, comes up, and you actually are able to enjoy your food much better, actually taste it, actually enjoy it, actually digest it, and uh, you don't overeat. You actually really, really take the time to enjoy what you're doing. The other thing is recommended is if you know you're sensitive to dairy or wheat or different foods, and you have a feeling that you're gonna be eating some of those things, which a lot of us are, is I would recommend getting a good digestive enzyme. There's plenty of good ones out there. Innate Response has one that you can order uh, either on my website or from Emerson at Ecologics directly. Um, it's called Gluten Dairy Shield. It's a great product. Another thing is to make sure that you support your adrenal glands. The adrenal glands are their, your stress hormones. And a great product, which I've mentioned before, is Adrenal Response. It's a fantastic product. You can get that on our, web, on our website. That really helps to ground your energy, um, strengthen your energy, but ground it at the same time. Okay? Athletes love that formula, too. That's a couple things you can do. Um, let's see. A couple other tips with family. Big, big issue for a lot of people. I've already been hearing about it this week. 
so many people coming in, I'm really anxious, my ex-husband's gonna be there, or my mother, or my father, or whatever, and been talking about strategies with people today especially. And first of all, it's always good to start with the mood of forgiveness, okay? Uh, as much as we can be in the moment, let go of the past temporarily, and just forgive that person. We're all imperfect. So let's start off with that perspective and just be present in the moment with people. The other thing, there are the occasional people that talk your ear off or that kind of thing. Create a strategy if you need to before you meet with those people of like an exit strategy. So it could be as simple like, excuse me, I have to go to the bathroom, I'll be right back. Or change the subject. If somebody's talking to you or invading your space and talking about something you really don't want to talk about, tell them, you know what, I'd rather not talk about this and ask them a question. There's a lot of things you can do to kind of offset the stress of relationships in the holiday season. You don't have to make it a horrible, dramatic thing that a lot of people end up uh, dealing with. So make it a wonderful time. And uh, if you're present, if you're grounded, your, everything will go much better in all of your relationships during the holiday season. And again, meditate. After you eat a big meal, it's a great idea to go for a 10 minute walk that will totally help to balance out your blood sugar. You'll get some fresh air, you'll disconnect from overeating, and it's a, a really wonderful way to, to balance yourself out during the holiday season. So those are just some tips. I just want to wish everybody a really wonderful Thanksgiving, a really wonderful ho holiday season, and try to, like I said, remember the energetics of the season are about beginning to go inward a little bit and taking time to breathe, taking time to meditate, taking time to do yoga. Uh, when you do exercise, be mindful. Start eating more mindfully. And you'll find that this season is much more nourishing uh, than maybe it has been for years. So thanks a lot.